In the meantime, the national chairman of the Social Democratic Party, SDP, Olu Falae, has appealed to members not to attend Professor Jerry Ghana and his presidential campaign committee's planned flag off. Falae, in a statement issued on Friday in Abuja, said that doing so may amount to contempt of court. He said he had received a letter from Ghana seeking his leave as SDP national chairman to unveil the vision and program of his presidential campaign. The national chairman recalled that earlier correspondents from Ghana made it clear that he based the proposals on the judgment of the FCT High Court dated December 14, 2018. Palais said that the counsel of all the five defendants in the case, including SDP, Wale Olanikwe Kuanku, had already appealed against that judgment. He noted that they had filed a motion at the Court of Appeal praying for certain reliefs, including stay of execution of the judgment of the High Court and injunctive reliefs against Professor Jerry Ghana, pending the determination of the appeal. They appeal to party officials at all levels, leaders and members to stay calm and refrain from participating in actions designed to preempt the court. We must remain loyal to the party, which is more important than any of us. The party had earlier declared former governor of Cross River, Donald Duke, as its flag bearer for the 2019 general elections. The party declared that Duke, who won its presidential primary election, polled 812 votes, while Ghana had 611. Ghana, however, went to court seeking that it should declare him the winner in line with the zoning and rotation formula of the party's constitution. The Federal High Court in Maitama, Abuja, on Friday, December 14, declared Ghana as the rightful candidate of SDP in the 2019 election. In his judgment, Justice Hussein Baba Yusuf held that the regulations contained in the party's constitution were binding on every member and must be obeyed.